Hi right, guys, I uh, just want to talk about something I'll call the false prophets of the Philippines in the expat community. You've got to understand that a lot of personas online may not actually match some people's realities. Um, I mean, when Barry met me directly, you, you may have heard him maybe watch, watch his show, he's mentioned I'm a lot more laid back in person. The reason for that is when I'm talking, I'm actually talking about specific topics. You meet me in person, it's a different environment. Um, but what I'm talking about today is when somebody says their specific thing, for example, if somebody asked me what is my ideology around um, politics, the answer is I don't believe any political function functions properly. Uh, the big error in all this is humans. Humans are self-serving generally, corrupt, etc, etc. It doesn't matter how you look at it or what government, whether it's socialist or capitalist. Socialists dwell, uh, build their numbers up. They expand every time they're in the UK, for example, the number of public workers because that's their, uh, where they get all their votes from. So you f find they're very expansive even though it's at the cost of taxpayers and a lot of these jobs aren't actually needed. Um, but then when it comes round to cost cutting, they'll blame the Conservatives and go, oh, they're cutting our services, when the majority of the money, or too much of the money, should I say, actually goes on pension funds and other things that are not related to the services. And then on the capitalist side, you've got the Conservatives, which are often self-serving and will set up bodies and things to suit themselves and more in line with banking and being parasitical. The problem is cronies. They're all cronies. Now, that is the reality. They're not actually for your benefit. They're not for my benefit. They're for the self-benefit. And that's why when old Blair was sort of booted out the door, you've seen people going, but what about me? Which was mainly coming out of the Labour Party because they knew the whole thing was falling f flat on its face. Um, but anyway, my political view, I don't believe any one system works because the fact is if one system worked, then why is so many people grumbling about everything going on? Um, but you do hear people that they are a specific thing and they follow a, a specific way and at the same time, when you start getting relationships with girls that are working in girly bars and stuff, yet your persona online is the complete opposite. Um, I'd say that's rather exploitive, um, but that's my personal view on it. But I'm just saying for other guys out there, be aware that a lot of people are not as they project and sometimes you may have a presumption on it because you simply don't know them well enough, because you make assumptions, you form opinions etc. It's a bit like reading a book and then they suddenly make it into a movie and the voice in your head does not match the voice of that person because that was the person in your head. You know, the person in your head is the voice you thought that descriptive um, superhero, whatever it was, uh, sounded like. There was no real voice but at the same time when they do it in a movie, they're like, that doesn't sound right. That, they wouldn't sound like that because you'd already formed your own opinions and uh, these creative entities in your mind. Um, and I just want to put that out there because sometimes I do think some people pretend to be better than they are and show, a, show one thing and do another. That's a bit like politics. Um, but also add to that, there's been a couple of people say about the area uh, in the Philippines, really. is you know the funny thing is, until you've been in the Philippines, you really won't understand how the country is made up. You will find that a lot of places will be nicely developed, and then they'll have a lot of shanty developments and stuff outside it. You'll find that the town and city planning is as good as it is here on the coast in Spain, where people just build what they like, where they like. Um, Torrebeca, for example, is one of those areas where they uncapped the developments um, a while back, which is why it just went wash, awash with holiday rentals and whatever in holiday homes, because the, they unregulated all the construction. Um, the Philippines is like that a lot. 
there's a lot of illegal construction. There's a lot. Of, if there's a gap, somebody will build something there. That is quite normal. Um, so if you're thinking, well, I feel unsafe in that sort of environment, it's because you haven't been in that sort of environment. Because I find people are people anywhere, anyway. I mean, a lot of people are a bit wary about in the Middle East, but I've been in many places in the Middle East. Some of the places that you wouldn't be allowed to go these days or it would be very difficult to be allowed to enter these countries because a lot of flights won't go there um, but the point being is I've always found the people welcoming I'm not on about wandering down uh, waving the black flags and stuff these guys I'm on about the the average person that actually lives there you know normal people are generally just going about their lives as normal anywhere on the planet that's why it don't, doesn't really bother me on how somebody lives um, it's more a case of meeting people and understanding the culture and experiencing the stuff around me. That's what makes it interesting. But anyway, thanks for watching.